Welcome, everyone. Scottsdale Forward is an economic development initiative undertaken by the Scottsdale Area Chamber of Commerce. This forum is held annually and is intended to be inspirational, informative, and thought-provoking. For the first time in the history of the Scottsdale Forward event, we are completely sold out. Thank you all for the generous support of Scottsdale Forward. It's an honor to be here this morning representing the Salt River Project at the annual Scottsdale Forward Economic Development Symposium. On behalf of everyone at SRP, we'd like to thank Mark and the Scottsdale Chamber for bringing us today's event. Scottsdale Forward continues to offer a valuable program that brings together government, businesses, the community, and friends. You'll see throughout the program that collaboration among partners is key to the success of economic development in Scottsdale. On behalf of the faculty, the student affairs professionals, and the many people who make this a very special place, welcome to Scottsdale Community College, which is the only two-year institution of higher learning located on sovereign tribal land. Really what we really try to do when we talk about economic development and we talk about how we move our economic engines forward for the city or for the state, and that's the collaboration. That's, that is the combining of resources. There's a lot of agencies, a lot of folks working uh, to, to move the ball forward in a lot of ways. And so it's really important in order to really be efficient about that is to make sure you have good collaboration. My name is Deanna Scabby. I'm Councilwoman for the Salt River Pima Maricopa Indian Community Tribal Council. It's a pleasure to be here this morning and I'm just really grateful to see the um, and feel the energy that all of you have here. Um, having a sold out crowd here today, I, I know that it's very important and special for you as leaders and, and stakeholders in this great city of Scottsdale. Good morning and welcome to another great year of Scottsdale Forward. I'm told there are more than 250 business and civic leaders gathered here today. And with Bob Parsons leading the discussion, I know this year's symposium will carry on its tradition as one of the most productive economic development forums here in the Valley. I also want to commend Mayor Lane and Scottsdale Chamber President Mark Hegel for keeping their focus squarely on the future. When I think about the best place to catch a spring training game, play a round of golf, take a vacation, start a business and raise a family, I think Scottsdale, which is why it is one of our state's greatest assets. But no city and no state has ever done planning for the future. And that's why Scottsdale Forward is so important. We all have a role to play in making our state even greater. Together, let's continue to think big, aim high, and look forward. Thank you and enjoy your event. Absolutely, um, these, these are again our audience as we expect. Everybody associated with Scottsdale Forward is right on. We're seeing a, a strong influx of financial services companies, uh, advanced business services essentially, and a lot of insurance. The answer is, is yes. Uh, there is a great affinity to Scottsdale as a brand in Canada, in the boardrooms, very specifically in Toronto. Uh, should Scottsdale consider light rail possibilities for our community? A for yes, B for no. So the polls are open, and let's see what those instantaneous results are. Ladies and gentlemen, 75% yes, 25% no. How about that? This does come up even more frequently than it did two years ago, is uh, you know, the access through a light rail uh, system. Is it available? Does it does, do the, do the, do the uh, stations tie into my uh, real estate opportunity? I'd say the other thing that, that comes up as well, because State Farm you know, asked this question and many other of the larger corporate firms is, they're just looking at varying ways of uh, accessing real estate. The first thing I would say is congratulations, Scottsdale, you're doing everything right. You're not doing anything wrong with the Canadian market. And for us to really celebrate what we do well, but to strive you know, in a, in a long-term calculated plan, much like Utah did 15 years ago with Envision Utah. We need to embark upon that kind of strategic thinking at the state, regional, and local levels and all buy into a, a one Arizona strategy. And I, I think that, you know, with, under this governor's leadership, 
Uh, he, he's a unique dynamic thinker that understands you know, the need to move at the speed of business. Markets around us are doing so, and, and we must adapt. And so it's not really a silver bullet per se, but it's a requirement that we recognize we must compete globally, and this isn't just a Mountain West competition. Now I'd like to introduce today's keynote speaker. Bob Parsons, best known as the founder of GoDaddy, is widely recognized for his entrepreneurial and philanthropic efforts. He currently is a member of the GoDaddy Board of Directors and the CEO and founder of Yam Worldwide, which is home to his entrepreneurial ventures in the fields of, get ready for this, motorsports, golf, real estate, marketing, video production, innovation, and philanthropy. I'm here to tell you why I think Scottsdale is a wonderful place to be, a great place for business, and Arizona is the last great state. I learned the importance of discipline, and discipline not in the sense that uh, you get punished for doing something wrong, but discipline in that you have the ability and realization that if you make a commitment, you do it, no matter what. You don't have to like doing it, but you gotta do it, and you gotta do it well. Marine Corps taught me that, and um, anything I've ever accomplished in my life, uh, it's because of that, and I owe that to those guys. So, so everything I learned, I, I taught myself, but the one difference between me and everybody else that I knew is uh, most people, when they wanted their computer to do something, they bought the software. Me, instead, I studied the uh, architecture and internals of the computer, and whenever I wanted mine to do something, I wrote the code. Uh, so um, I, it got to the point where I was pretty good at it. And when I started, uh, started GoDaddy, this was back uh, in 97, and the internet was just going, and I didn't know where it was headed, but I knew it was gonna be big. So um, my idea then was to hire, I hired a number of people that were really sharp and good in technology. And I, I thought, well, um, these guys, uh, you know, we'll try a lot of things. And then, you know, if it doesn't work, we won't do it. And if it does work, we'll do it. So why Scottsdale? Well, first, and this is really important, and, and uh, you know, it's just one of those things. The weather's good. You know, life's short. You might as well be where the weather's good. Uh, second, uh, the city of Scottsdale makes it easy to do business. From working with uh, our city planners, planning department, which is excellent for, for new building. We've done a lot of new building. Uh, from the way the police department, the fire department, all the essential services are, are managed. The entire city is incredibly well managed. Um, we'd be proud of that. You know, I get asked a lot, What's next for me? You know, uh, well, I'm, one of the things I try to do is I spend my time looking way down the road because you got to take care of what's in front of you. So I really don't know what's next for me, but there's one thing I do know. If I start, if and when I start another business, it's going to be located in Scottsdale, Arizona. <laughs>